incredible people and thank you so much for tuning in. Today, as you've just heard, we are playing incredible koala music on Tin Whistle. This particular tune is called Penny Whistle, it's from Mango Groove, and you'll need a Tin Whistle in the key of B flat to play along with today's tutorial. Now don't forget if you don't have B flat whistles, it's not the end of the world, you can play this on any key of whistle using these tabs. Say for example you play on a D whistle, you'll just play a transposed version of the tune, so it means the whole song will sound higher pitched than if you play on a B flat whistle, but it doesn't mean you can't play along. If you'd like more information on how you can play along with any key of whistle, I've linked a video up here on the little i, in the description down below, and at the end of the video as well. But it's tutorial time, so grab those B flat whistles and let's get started. Now you may also notice that in my original um, playthrough of this at the start of the video, I get to a point where I just improvise. Now I do have a video on some improvisation techniques, and these transfer to other tunes as well, but basically if you want to improvise quailer style, what you can do is use the notes that appear within this tune. Uh, most commonly is the best way to go about it. So I've listed those on screen now, and what I'll do is I'll just play the middle section. There's a little bit of saxophone improvisation in the background, and what you can do is you can use these notes on screen to just have a play around on your whistle and see what you can find. Again, from previous videos I suggested sticking to the kind of rhythms that you found, obviously changing the length of notes, so playing one long one followed by a few shorter ones, and also to try and go up and down the scale a little bit because um, it's sort of in a smooth motion rather than jumping from one uh, octave to the next because that just tends to make things sound a little more pleasing to the ear. So you can hear my example from the beginning in the background, I'll play that section for you now and you can try and improvise with these notes yourself and see how you get on. So now we have the melody sections and the improv plans, let's go ahead and try it.
So that is it from me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do hit that big thumbs up button down below. Subscribe if you haven't and hit the bell icon if you have so that you get notifications every time a new video of mine comes out and you get to enjoy Tin Whistle tunes, tabs, tips and tricks absolutely free. If you are an absolute star and you'd like to support my channel and support everything that I do here on YouTube and across the internet, you can check out some more of what I do on Coffee and Patreon. Um, you can support me on a monthly basis or as a one-off. There's also super thanks buttons sometimes below my YouTube videos. All of this is absolutely incredible, folks. It just keeps my channel going and allows me to keep this as my job, which is amazing. But obviously the main thing is that it allows me to keep creating content for you. Don't forget two of the other videos I mentioned earlier on in this tutorial and some other cool tunes I think you might enjoy. Have a great week, folks. I'll see you again soon. And until then, happy whistling. Bye.